All right. Well, here's the long-awaited how to play Hayato video, Hayato guide, whatever you want to call it. But in this video, I plan to cover pretty much everything I can about Hayato, the most important, um, most important things on how to become a pro Hayato, like the movement skills, what each skill does, uh, how to weave your skills properly, how to animation cancel your skills. All that stuff is going to be covered in this video, so I hope uh, I can teach you guys something. Uh, keep in mind that I, you know, I probably will forget something at some point. So yeah, if I forget something, just def definitely let me know in the comments or message me or something like that. But yeah, so we'll start this section with going over what each skill on Hayato does. So, <clears throat> let's go to a flat map. Like, three doors. <clears throat> Alright, so, this part, we'll just go over each and, er each and every skill. We'll read them together, because reading skills is important. You guys should always read your skills. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many times people have, uh, you know, asked me what a skill does, but, you know, if you just read the skill, it tells you what it does, but, yeah. Um, so, let's start. Beginner tab, right? What do you have? You have a bunch of passives, right? All you need in the beginner tab, really, is quick draw and summer rain slash Hitakiri 100 strikes. So, quick draw. What does quick draw do? So... On Hayato, you have two modes to play this class. Uh, there's the normal mode, which is just regular. You could flash jump. You could. Uh, you have your mobbing move. And if you use quick draw, it puts you in your bossing stance. You get different buffs from your energy gauge in bossing stance versus um, your normal gauge, your normal stance. And you have your bossing skills now. And you can't flash jump, you can't flash jump, you have to double tap to dash in a bossing stance. And every time you use quick draw, it takes 100 energy. So, speaking of energy, let's let's go over what this, uh, what the sword gauge is. So on Hayato, it's a gauge class where you have to manage your sword energy. This is like Hayato 101, this is like the most important thing to the class, managing your sword energy. In normal stance, you get different buffs than bossing stance. So in normal stance, you get attack power, HP, MP, ID, and uh, stance. In bossing stance, you get um, you get even more stance. You get crit rate. You get more attack speed. You get more attack, and um, you get an AOE around you that does damage. So yeah, and the more that you fill this up, the the stronger the buffs will get. If it's at zero, you'll get less than less buffs than uh what you get at 1000 so yeah so that's how quick draw works and that's how the that's what the sword energy meter does a lot of people actually don't even know that this gives you anything so yeah next skill summer rain so this is a skill that you are able to use in fort job but it's in the beginner tab and it's basically just a full map attack that does a ton of damage and gives you a 15% damage buff for 2 minutes. So if I press it. Full map attack. Damage buff. 15 seconds. My damage bonus went up. And my range went up. And it's the same thing in. Um, Hitokiri 100 strike mode. Which is only in bossing stance mode. You unlock he the submarine turns into Hitokiri 100 strikes. It's the same. It's the same thing. Full map attack. And gives you a damage buff. But Heat Great Hunter Strike sends you a certain distance forward when you use it versus Summerine doesn't move you. And I'll show that later. Alright, so first job first job skills. Um so let's let's just assume that you are like between level two hundred let's just assume you're level two hundred plus, right? So I don't have to go over like level one hunter and done, because you're never gonna use it, right? You're only gonna use level four one. So First job skills, um, Surging Blade. This is super, super important to Hayato's movement. You can chain this skill with with um, Dankusen to go extremely, extremely quickly. 
So, Surging Blade, what does it do? If you tap it once, it, send, it sends you a short distance forward. It has no cooldown. If you tap it twice, you go two dashes. Three times, three dashes. Four times, four dashes. And it's up to four times. It doesn't go more than four. So if you just hold it down, it goes four dashes. You wait a little, then the four dashes start again. You used to be able to turn in the middle of the dashes, but now you can't. So something to keep in mind for Surging Blade is the third dash can uh, will allow you to turn around right away. And what do I mean by that? So if I do one, two, three, four, I hold left and start going again. There's a little delay before I'm able to surging again. But if I do it three times, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, I could do it pretty much infinitely. There's no cooldown. But if I do it a fourth time, I have to wait a little before I can use surging again. So generally when I use surging, I only do it three times. Because there's no cooldown. So yeah. Surging Blade, Bato Jutsu Leap. This is just your flash jump. Hayato has a double flash jump. You could turn around in the middle of the flash jump. If you are in quick draw, this tur it turns into Bato Jutsu Dash, which you could also put on a key. You could just jump and press it and you'll go. Or you could double tap left or double tap right. And you will dash. So, Shoryu Yusen, you're never going to use this. It's just a little mobbing skill. It doesn't do much. Bato Jutsu Advance. A lot of people have questions on this skill. Do not ever use this skill. Don't press it. Don't do anything with it. All it does is gives you a certain amount of damage percent. It says attack power, but it's actually damage percent if you use one of those eight skills. But for some reason, it it's buggy and it like stacks up to two and then resets itself or something. So don't even think about it. You get damage if you use surging. Like you see, it went to three. Eventually, it'll go to eight. But then it'll reset back to one, which is like dumb. But yeah. So, yeah. You don't really want to think about that skill. Second job, what's important? Military Might. What does this do? People think it does nothing. It doesn't do nothing. It gives you HP, it gives you attack, and it gives you speed and jump. The speed and jump is the most important part of this because you need it to hit max speed and max jump on Hayato. And it feels really bad when you're not at max speed and max jump. So, there's that. It gives a bit of attack too, which is good. Katana booster, attack speed. Attack speed is super, super important on Hayato. Hayato is one of those classes where you don't need domain or like arc buffs or Evan buffs or whatever buffs that give you attack speed to hit that attack speed cap. You can hit attack speed cap all on your own with green pot. But, and the thing about attack speed on Hayato is it helps you cancel your skills a lot more uh, fluidly, which I'll go into later when we actually start canceling skills. Rising Slash, never want to use this, doesn't ass, bad mobbing skill, doesn't do much damage. Unfaltering Blade, just gives you crit damage. Falcon Dive, Falcon Dive, another huge, huge mobbing skill for, uh, not mobbing skill, uh, mobility skill for Hayato. So if you notice Falcon Dive, it just, it, sen it sends you up first, up in a straight line, and then down in a, in a right angle. So why is this so important? Well, I'll show you when it uh, when I chain it with Vapor Blade. Vapor Blade. This is arguably the most important skill for Hayato's movement. Vapor Blade. The double, the double, the infamous double up jump. The double up jump on Portal. That the every Hayato always like hits their head. This is the infamous Vapor Blade. So the thing about Vapor Blade is a lot of people don't know that you can cancel. A lot of people don't know that. You can cancel Vapor Blade, and it's something that you should do instinctively. If you want to be like very, very good at the class, you have to cancel Vapor Blade instinctively. And what do I mean by cancel it? Uh, I'll get into it later, when we get to Fourth Job, or later after that. Actually, after we go over those skills. So yeah, Vapor Blade can also be used after jumping. So you could jump Vapor Blade, jump Vapor Blade. Uh, we need to go to a bigger map. Actually, let's go to. I don't know, I like Cernium. Let's go here. So yeah, you could jump Vapor Blade. Actually, this map's not even big enough either. Whatever. So yeah, 
Vapor Blade on its own? Dude, what is with these maps? They all have a... I'm freaking out. Okay. They all have a ceiling. Alright, I'm going to town. Alright, leave free. Okay. Vapor Blade. If you jump Vapor Blade, you go much, much higher. Like, a lot higher. So, regular Vapor Blade. Jump Vapor Blade. Okay, I don't like the BGM. Um... Hmm, where do I go? More ass. Alright, so... Third job, we have Dankusen, the other super important Hayato skill. Um, so Dankusen, if you just use it, it's a little dash, has a, has a little delay from using it again can't just like spam it you gotta wait a little see I'm holding it down and it's not it's not going it's not going super fast um, sweeping sword so if you press it you'll go you'll do a sweeping attack you'll go out and then back in so with sweeping sword um, you could do some cool tricks with sweeping sword I'll, uh, I'll show you guys later um, whirlwind cut it's sort of like a triangle movement, if you look at Whirlwind Cuts closely. You go up and then down. Kind of like an obtuse triangle. Up and then down. And this this initial up in um, Whirlwind Cut is actually a TP, so you could go through objects and stuff with that. So, fourth job, you have Shinsoku. And this skill is extremely important to Hayato's movement because Shinsoku is the skill you can use to cancel your animations. If you've noticed, stuff like Dankusen, you can't just hold it down because there's a little like movement lock at the end of it. Stuff like Vapor Blade, if I press Vapor Blade and not cancel it, I'm just gonna fall. You see the Hayato's in like a falling animation. But if I press Vapor Blade and Shinsoku, I'm able to jump and do other things. But if I don't use Shinsoku, I just fall. Anyways, we'll, we'll get into more details later when we cancel stuff. So Hitakiri Strike. This is an iframe. It does a lot of damage, but it's mostly used as an iframe. So you see it says invincibility, 3 seconds. You press it. From the moment you press it, you gain 3 seconds of invincibility. And then once you use it, Hitakiri Strike turns into Hitakiri Angle. Which lets you go, you guessed it, at an angle. And you're able to go up and you're able to go down at an angle. If you want to go down, just hold down before you press uh, Hitokiri. And you'll go down. Uh, what else? Uh, tornado Blade. This is pretty much useless. It used to stun bosses, but that's not a thing anymore. It's just a damaging move. Sudden Strike. Super important as well. So it does give a debuff to bosses and makes you do 20% more boss damage. But it's not really worth using unless you're just getting carried or something and you want to help the party out. But the most important thing to, to Sun Strike is it's a super stance. And what is a super stance? It means you can't get pushed at all while you're using the skill. Nothing can push you. Besides um, V Hilla's blue push attack. But that's like the only thing. So like Lotus. Lotus pushes you every every few seconds when you're fighting Lotus. Pop Sun and Strike. You won't get pushed. All right, so that, that's the first fourth, first um, four job skills. So let's go to VJ because I'm getting tired of Morris. All right, so those are the first four job skills. Um, so once your hyper skills, Falcon Honor, Princess Val. God of Blades. These are just two buffs you pretty much want to use off cooldown. What's special about God of Blades though is it gives you a ton of status resist. So if you're up against a boss that like stuns you a lot, like Sea Val, and the rocks keep falling on your head and you keep getting stunned, you want to use God of Blades because it'll give you 100 elemental resistance, which means um, stuff like a rock falling on your head isn't going to stun you as long. So it's super good. Passives. Unfortunately, high auto passives are 
pretty bad. Like, the only ones that really matter are Heat Decay, Strike, Cooldown Cutter, and Persist. And you could put it, you could put everything else literally wherever you want. I just have everything else in Shinsoku. But yeah. So, another thing to Hayato's energy, which is very important, is what gives you energy and what takes away energy. And why does energy matter? Well, energy matters because of our first fifth shop skill that we're going to go over, EI Jutsu Phantom Blade. So this is this is basically like everything to Hayato. Like without Phantom Blade, Hayato is nothing, basically. And you have to constantly... This is one of those skills where you have to constantly keep it up. You have to keep using it over and over and over again throughout fights. And it consumes energy. It's actually the... One of one of it's actually the only skill that consumes energy, if if you exclude uh, Susanoo, because this costs 150 to use, but it gives you 700 to 800 um, when it's done, when it when it goes away. But Yajutsu Phantom Blade strictly just consumes energy, and uh, switching stance actually consumes energy as well. But yeah, um, so Yajutsu Phantom Blade, what does it do? So it's it's one of those five part skills where um the more you use it the first the first time you use it and the second time you use it third fourth and fifth they're all gonna have different animations and they're all gonna do slightly different things so the more you use it the stronger it gets like as you can see it starts with 330 percent 360 390 410 450 percent and it caps out at five stacks and each time you use phantom blade you gain final damage so i have a dummy here that we could use just to like test around it. So I'll make it level 290 so I do like no damage to it. Um, gain some energy and we'll see what Phantom Blade does. So so once I'm at 1000, okay so I'm at 1000 energy right and each Phantom Blade takes 200 so that means you, and it takes and it's five stacks to get to max so that means you need to consume at least a thousand energy to get to max so first stack boom it's a little little bombing skill ahead of you and you gain a buff on the top right so as a hayato you want to constantly look at the top right of your screen eventually it'll become second nature to you to monitor how much time you have left on this stack this is very very important if your stack goes away it's detrimental to Hayato's. You lose essentially all your damage if it goes away. So, you see, I gained twenty-three percent final damage just off using it once. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it go away, and we'll see what happens. All right, go away, man. Okay, so now that it's gone, yeah, my final damage went away, and. You know, I got a lot weaker, and I have to restack. It doesn't go. It it's not like um, if you're familiar with Mihai's Royal Guard. It doesn't go from four stacks to three to one to zero. It goes from five to zero. So first stack, second stack, the enemy is a little bigger. Third stack, which is a big swoopy, so it has more vertical range than fourth stack, which is very long and horizontal. And then fifth stack, which is just basically a rectangle in front of you attack. So once I'm at five stacks, 115% final damage, I'm at maximum Phantom Blade stacks. And every stack after this just refreshes the fifth stack buff. And the animation is the same. It's a big uh, rectangle in front of you, the hitbox. And you have to constantly keep refreshing this skill over and over and over again on Hayato. It's so important. If you drop stacks, it's extremely bad. Like you should not drop, you should not be dropping stacks at all throughout fights, like ideally. If you're dropping stacks, then you're having you're having some problems that you need to work on. So uh, I'll show you in a sec. Like when it goes away, it's gonna it's just gonna disappear. It doesn't go to four stacks or three or two or one. It's just gonna completely go away, and I lose all my damage, and I have to get energy again to reuse Phantom Blade to stack up. So which leads me to the, my next point on Hayato. So what gives energy and what takes away energy? So we know what takes away energy, Phantom Blade. And we know that we have to keep constantly gaining energy to keep using Phantom Blade so we don't lose our damage. So how do we keep gaining energy? Well, there's a few ways. So the most often way that you're going to get energy is through Falcon's Honor, which is your hyper skill. And this is just like a full map attack, basically. It has a really big range and you 
hit a lot of mobs. But if you notice, every time I use Falcon's Honor, I gain 100 energy. So you want to constantly be using this almost off cooldown during fights. So you constantly are gaining energy. What else gives energy? So I have 300, right? I could use Phantom Blade again. Falcon Honor is about to come up. I'm at 200, could use Phantom Blade again. And you want to keep repeating until you're at five stacks. But another thing that gives energy is Batujutu Zanko, which is one of Hayato's couple of uh, little burst skills. This isn't like a super big burst, but it's like, it, it does quite a bit of damage. So Batujutu Zanko, what does it do? You press it, it has a sick animation. It does a ton of lines on a target. And if you notice, I gained 700 energy. So Zanko gives you a ton of energy while, while using it. And you're invincible throughout the entire duration. I think it's about five seconds of invincibility from when you start, from as soon as you click the skill to as soon as, uh, as, soon as you click the skill, I believe it's five seconds from that moment that you are completely invincible and has a minute 30 second cooldown. So you got, you got a bunch of energy from Zanko, you know, Falcon's Honor gives you more. And uh, the thing about Zonko is, if you notice, when, since I'm only hitting one target, it did a bunch of lines. To be exact, it does 15 times 11. Because you see it says number of rush attacks, 15, enemies hit 11. And since it was only one enemy hit, it's 15 times 11, which is 165 lines on one target. So on a boss, this is, this is a pretty devastating skill. But on a bunch of mobs, like... If you remember, it says enemies hit 11. So it'll hit up to 11 mobs and it'll spread out. It'll only do 15 lines per on each mob if I hit 11 mobs. So this skill, all the lines get spread out. What is this guy doing? Okay, now I'm CCing, I guess. Actually... I'm an idiot for being VG. I should just be in a map that like not a lot of people can go to, right? I'll just like stay here. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Anyways, so yeah, so Zonko, if I hit multiple targets, it's not gonna do 165 lines per enemy. It's gonna split those lines amongst however many enemies I hit. So if you notice, they all got hit. And it didn't do 165 lines. It did like maybe like 15 or something per hit, per enemy. But I still get all the energy back and I was still invincible throughout the whole thing. Now, next next fifth drop skill that gives energy but also takes away. So this is Batujutsu Ultimate Will. Um, basically, it costs 150 to use. And it's this big giant summon that clears like half a map for you. And it just sits there. The top right, there's a buff. Uh, on the top right that shows how long it has left and when it goes away, it's going to recover a ton of energy for me And another thing with this skill is you could just leave it and it'll go away on its own or you could click the skill again So for me, it's on T. I'll press T again. It'll do its ending animation and It'll just recover me all the energy it gained immediately so sometimes you want to cancel it early in case your Phantom Blade's about to expire and you need energy right away. You might want to do that. So what else is there for fifth job? So there's Sengoku Force. Sengoku Force. Um, a lot of people don't know that Sengoku Force actually. They actually each. There's four different um, summons that could come out. It's it's random which ones come out, and each one gives you a different buff. So like Kenshin gives you ID. Haruaki gives you uh, damage reduction, Ayame gives you 17% crit damage, and Shingen gives you uh, 35 attack power. So you summon to Goku Force, boom. I got Kenshin and, um, what was his name again? Yeah, Shingen. So I got uh, damage reduction, I think? No, 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 I got IED and attack power. So what does this in Goku Force do? They'll just follow you around and attack mobs until they go away, basically. So the thing, another thing about Hayato is you. Another very important way to gain energy on Hayato is through actually just killing things. 
So if you notice, whenever the Sengoku Force kills something, I'm slowly gaining energy. In my normal stance, every time I kill a mob, I gain 5 energy per mob kill. So like, I use Falcon Honor here, and Falcon Honor is supposed to give me 100. It gave me like 130 because I killed some mobs with it. So like, I'm gonna kill these couple mobs right here, and I'm gonna gain energy just for killing them. So you see my energy is going up just, just for killing them. So that's also another way to upkeep your Phantom Blade and keep up energy when you're mobbing and you're training and stuff. So for um, the other way, so, okay, so you might ask, um, how am I going to keep energy up in bossing? If I can't, I'm not just going to kill the boss and get five energy. Well, when you're in bossing stance, every time you hit something in bossing stance, you get two energy. Regardless of if it dies or something, as long as you're hitting something, you're getting two energy per hit. And if you do actually kill something in bossing stance, wait, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah never mind. <coughs> All right, so every time you hit something, you get two energy. So if you're hitting a boss, like you're gonna be constantly hitting it over and over and over and over again. So you're gonna get a ton of energy just from hitting the boss. So another very important skill for Hayato is Instant Slice, which is just a big, big, really big, a big full map attack. Like it just does a ton of damage and it hits a ton of mobs. And you could combo Falcon's Honor with Instant Slice and something. So when we get into the animation canceling section, I'll show you how Instant Slice actually cancels some skills animations. So what other fifth jobs are there? Um, yeah, so that's like the main stuff. So it's Princess Sakuno's Blessing, this is like the burst buff for Hayato. You cast it, what does it do? You'll so, you'll notice that you will gain final damage over time. It works like Infinity, if you're familiar with how mages work. So as the buff progresses, I'm getting stronger and stronger and stronger. So what, what Hayato's call it is Peak Sakuno. When the buff is, buff is about to go away, that's when you want to use all your burst skills, when you're at the peak, because you'll have the most amount of final damage at that point. So, um, yeah, so Sakuno's, a lot of people also don't know that it gives you a free, um, status resist, basically. What does that mean? So, like, let's say I use, let's go back to the c -Val example, right? Rocks are falling on top of my head and I'm keep, I keep getting stunned. I'll pop Sakuno and then a rock hits my head when I, while I have Sakuno, um, up. That rock is not going to stun me. Only once. Sakuno will tank one stun attack or like one stun or one curse from black mage or one thread from v Hilla, whatever it is sakuno will stank will tank one hit one uh the uh uh abnormal status attack so it works exactly like hero as well basically but yeah so those are like um hayato's like main fifth job skills so like other stuff like a rack reflection, um, you know, weapon or all that stuff. That's just like part of every other warrior. So I'm not gonna really go over those. Um, as for boost nodes, stuff like that. Like as for like specifics, like what to do, what what do you get for boost nodes, or what do you want your inner ability to be? Uh, you could just join the Hayato Discord. I'll leave a link in the description, and you could like ask there. You could look at the FAQ that we have there. And, um, yeah, so those are all the skills for Hayato. And did I miss any other, did I miss any skills? I don't think I missed any skills for Hayato. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we covered every single skill. So the next part of the video will be animation canceling and movement on Hayato. So I showed you what every single skill does, but... If you've ever seen like Endgame Hayatos, like they're always zooming around, they're flying in the air and stuff like that. And um, there's a reason for that because we're constantly canceling our skills and chaining them together to do such things. So if you wanna go down to the bare basics for Hayato, the first thing you need to master when you're canceling skills is the Vapor Blade cancel. This is this is the most, the most important thing to cancel. So, how do you cancel skills on Hayato? How do you animation cancel? Well, there's two ways. So if you remember earlier, I talked about Shinsoku. Um, 
Shinsoku, if you, it's a skill you could only use in bossing stance, and it's just a hurricane, it'll do some damage. Um, but you could actually technically use it in your normal stance. You won't see anything. Like, it's not going to do anything. But it actually is doing something. It's actually canceling your skills. So, if I just press double up jump and use Vapor Blade, you're going to notice that my Hayato is in a position where he's falling, and I can't do anything after that. You see like his hand is like on the ground and like my, my other arm is like behind me. If you're in that position, you're using Vapor Blade wrong. This is like the first thing you need to master in Hayato. So if you want to cancel Vapor Blade, um, there's two ways. You either use Shinsoku or you use Rai San Renzon slash Rai Blade Flash. You use your attacking skill. Um, not, not this attacking skill, because it, it, like this skill on N, it's going to use... Um, uh, Rai Blade Flash and San Renzan, right? Like I'm pressing N right now and it's using the same skill I have on control, but they're very different actually. If you have the actual skill bound, you could use this to animation cancel. So I use both actually, depending sometimes, but usually most people they use Shinsoku to cancel. So how do you do it? Vapor Blade, you press it, right? You need to press Shinsoku before you reach the peak of your vapor blade so what's the peak of my vapor blade it's about when i reach like this light bulb right that's like the peak so if i use shinsoku before you'll notice that my animation is different i'm holding the bunny right another thing with vapor blade is if you don't cancel it when you hit the ground you're locked for a second you can't do anything but like it like i'll give you an example i'll show you another one so if you double tap up and you keep pressing double tap up, there's a slight delay. There's a slight delay to it. But if I cancel it with Shinsoku, I could spam it. I could keep spamming it as much as I want because I keep canceling it. Even though I'm hitting my head on the ceiling, as long as I'm pressing Shinsoku before I hit the top of my vapor, I could cancel it as much as I want. I can keep spamming it as much as I want. So, um, we'll go to another map, actually. Um, let's go to Pantheon. Because I like the BGM here. So, another thing with uh, Vapor Blade is you can chain a ton of skills with your Vapor Blade. So, instead of just, you know, jumping up, landing, because we know that we we know we can jump up and cancel, right? There's a reason you want to cancel it, not just so that when you hit the ground, you're not locked. It's so you can use other skills too. So, like you keep seeing, you've probably seen me do it so many times by now. But you could flash jump along with your vapor blade if you cancel it with the uh, Shinsoku, or uh, I'll show you with Rise on Rinzan. So you double up jump, Rise on Rinzan. And you can flash jump, but it's not as quick. It's not as quick to cancel as Shinsoku. Shinsoku could go right away. So this is like the most basic cancel on Hayato, the Vapor Blade cancel, and flash jump. So what else can you do? Well, you could also Dankusen. So you could Vapor Blade, flash jump, Dankusen. Va Vapor Blade, flash jump, Dankusen. Vapor Blade, flash jump, Dankusen. So now you're even going. You're going even further. Like, I, like I'll start from here, right? From the corner. Vapor blade, flash jump, dunkusen. Where do I land? I land about where the dojo thing is. If I jump, flash jump on its own. Well, I would have landed like here, but the stairs boost me. But yeah. Jump, dunkusen. Right. So you could do so many, you could change so many skills with, with Vapor Blade. You could Vapor Blade, Whirlwind Cut. You could Vapor Blade, Whirlwind Cut, and then Dunkusen. You could Vapor Blade, Whirlwind Cut, Falcon Dive. You could Vapor Blade, Dunkusen, Fa Whirlwind Cut, Falcon Dive. Like you could keep, you could keep going. You could keep going with these skills. Um, you could Vapor Blade, Sweeping Sword. So another thing with with uh, sweeping sword that's very important is you can infinitely fly on Hayato, but it's based on your attack speed. So I'm, I'm gonna go to max attack speed here by hitting, you know, 
well, almost max. I'm one stage before max because I don't want to pop up a green pot. So I'll use my speed infusion. I'll go to quick draw because quick draw is, if you remember, it gives you another stage of attack speed. So if you want to, so sweeping sword on its own, if I'm holding it down, there's a little delay. So it's just like any other skill. If you use Shinsoku before you snap back to your original position, you could keep spamming. You could just keep spamming uh, sweeping blade. So you want to jump up. Cancel Vapor Blade with Shinsoku. Use Sweeping Blade and cancel the Sweeping Blade with Shinsoku. And you could just infinitely fly in the air. You could use this for so many different reasons. You could dodge up FMA and Black Mage. You could dodge Dragon and Lucid. You could jump over the freaking Tornado and Will. You could fly above the strings in Vihila. You could fly into the other room in Will. Like, if you keep doing this, eventually you'll slowly go up and up and up. And you could just straight up go into the other room and will from purple to blue or blue to purple. So it, there's so many reasons, there's so many use cases of it. What else is there? There's, you could, so, um, okay. So yeah, there, if, if I like go into every single possible combo, this video is going to be forever. It's already super long, but, um, so the most, the most important one, in my opinion, to cancel is the Dunkusen Rye Blade Flash Cancel. This is the one that'll make you go, this is this is the fastest possible movement you could do on Hayato. So if you remember Dunkusen, if I just hold it down, it's not gonna, you know, I, can, I have to wait. If I use Dunkusen and Shinsoku, it actually still doesn't even cancel it. I can't, I still can't, I still can't use it, even though I'm pressing Shinsoku before I reach the end of my Dankusen, but you can cancel you can cancel the movement lock from the end of Dankusen with Rye Blade Flash So here's an example of it. It, it takes a rhythm But once you get it down you could go extremely quickly on Hayato I'm trying to do this like trying to not attack One, two, three, four. Oh, one, two, three. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. One, two. <laughs> I'm so bad at the rhythm I'm trolling right now. One, two, three, four. Fuck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. Whatever. But you could do it. You could do it infinitely. Don't be bad like me. You just gotta get the rhythm down. And what the rhythm is, is you press it. And then right before you reach the end. Right before you reach the end. Like like a fraction of a second before you reach the end of, sh of uh, Dunkusen, press Rye Blade Flash. But if you do it too slowly, if you use Dunkusen then Rye Blade Flash, you're gonna attack. So it takes a rhythm. There you go, I did it. There you go. So yeah, like you could infinitely do it. You just gotta get the timing down and you will go extremely quickly. So th this has like so many different use cases you could go around the map super quickly even for just training like you could you could um you could do it in normal stance but you have to use surging blade instead so you have to do dunkusen surging and then dunkusen three times dunkusen surging and it goes up to three times before you have to surging again like dunkusen surging dunkusen 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 surging dunkusen dunkusen like you could do it up to three times and like you might not get it at first but it just takes a certain rhythm that's that's all about these that's all about that the, the animations that's all it is like it's just a rhythm that you need to get used to and you want to like just literally do what i'm doing right now like go to a town and just practice it that's that's all it's gonna take so another important cancel that i like doing a lot is um vapor blade and falcon dive because vapor blade gets you pretty high in the air but if you vapor blade falcon dive you'll go even higher in the air that's what i, I like doing this combo a lot too so you double up jump cancel vapor blade with shinsoku falcon dive another thing with falcon dive is if you remember if you just use it and touch the ground um you're gonna be locked when you hit the ground but if you want to cancel Falcon Dive, you could do it with Shinsoku. And you could just infinitely use 
Falcon Dive. But I like doing it with um, Rye Blade Flash actually. So what I be what I mean by this is, if I were to Vapor Blade Falcon Dive and I hit the ground, I'm still like locked for a second. But if I hit the ground and I use Rye Blade Flash, I'm not really locked. You could also hit the ground and use Dunkusen, and you won't be locked. You'll move right away. Like Falcon Dive hit the ground, Dunkusen right away. What other what other animations are very important? Um, those are like the the big important ones. So like the most important one is uh, canceling Vapor Blade. You have to make this a habit, no matter who you are. Like you have to make it a an instinctual thing like breathing like every time you use phantom blade it gets cancelled if you're using phantom blade and you're in this position like you cannot you cannot let that happen you cannot let that happen you have to do it where you're cancelling it because if you're not cancelling it you're just gonna end up dying so many times because you're just frozen for a second and you can't do anything and then you um so Obviously, like when you're bossing, you're going to be in bossing stance the whole time and you can't flash jump, but you could still double tap dash. Like when you cancel your vapor blade, double tap dash uh, and falcon dive. I do this combo a lot. Cancel vapor blade, dash, falcon dive. Cancel vapor blade, dash, falcon dive. I do that all the time. It's such an important combo. And the Dunkusen Rye Blade Flash combo. This is also like super important when it comes to your mobility on Hayato. So that's basically like the most important things for your movement skills. But there's other things that you could cancel as well. That's very, very important on Hayato. So Falcon Honor, if you use it, you're kind of stuck in place for a little bit, right? Every time you use it. But that's where Instant Slice comes in. Instant Slice is the cancel you want to think of Instant Slice sort of like the cancel to your attacking skills and Shinsoku as the cancel to your movement skills. So if I use Falcon Dive and then Instant Slice right away, I can move. I'll move right away. And if I use Falcon Dive without Instant Slice, I'm locked in place. So generally what Hayatos do is they sync up their Falcon Honor and Instant Slice together, like always. So I Falcon Instant, I'll move. Now, what else can you cancel with um, Instant Slice? Well, if you remember, Batujutu Zanko, I'll put down another dummy. Where's my dummies? It has a really long animation. Like the moon comes out and all the, the petals and everything. But you could cancel about half of the animation with Instant Slice. So if I use Zanko, and when I go away and use Instant Slice, I can, use, I can move again. You have to wait for when your character goes away in the middle of the Zonko animation. When he when he's off the screen, then you just use Insta Slice and then you're back on the screen. And you're immediately able to move again. Uh, what else can you cancel with Insta Slice? Well, you can cancel Hitikiri 100 Strikes with, with um, Insta Slice and Summer Rain with Insta Slice. If I use Summer Rain and then Insta Slice right away, I'm able to move. Usually I'm stuck in the air and I can't move which is, you know, awful. So that's why Insta Slice is like your best friend. What else? Another thing you can cancel with Insta Slice, Heat Degree Strike, if you remember the three second iframe, it keeps you in place when you use it. But if I use Insta Slice with it, oh, I messed up the timing there, but yeah. You're, if you use Insta Slice towards like the second half of the animation, you can cancel the animation and you can be able to move again. So since these skills have a long cooldown, I won't bore you and I'll just wait for them to come back up and cut it. Alright, so another very important um, cancel with with Hayato is canceling your 100 strikes without instant slice. You can actually cancel it without instant slice and this is the, this is the way that I recommend you do it always so we'll try another heat degree strike cancel because you could cancel heat degree strike with the instant slice so just heat degree strike yeah right there instant slice and i'm able to move again it cut the animation by a little bit but that little bit can help a lot sometimes so with 100 strikes instead of using instant slice to cancel it you want to use your ride blade flash so 
this one takes a lot of practice, but it's very important to learn because um, you're optimizing your damage to it at its finest when you're doing this, basically. So if you notice, Rye Blade Flash, it sort of has an animation to it. Like the, the blade doesn't extend all the way. Like it takes, it takes, if you look very, very carefully, it takes a little bit for the blade to extend all the way. So you, when you're using Rye Blade Flash in the middle of a boss, you want to use 100 strikes before the animation is fully done and you'll cancel 100 strikes. Why does this work? So how 100 strikes and how Summer Rain work is any skill that has an animation that's long enough that... Okay, so like, let me step back. So you can use these skills, Summer Rain, HHS, in the middle of any other skill. So like I could use Zonko and even though I'm in the middle of an animation here, I can use 100 strikes and it'll go. It'll, it'll allow me to chain them together. But if I have a skill that has a long animation, like Falcon's Honor, for example, has a pretty long animation. If I use Falcon's Honor before 100 strikes or Summer Rain, the Falcon Honor animation will override the 100 strikes animation. And I won't get locked in place. Because Summer Rain and 100 strikes, they lock you in place if you just use them on their own. But since Falcon's Honor is a long skill anyways, you're going to be locked in place anyways if you use it with 100 strike. So what I like to do is, is um, Rivalry Flash actually has an animation, but it's a very, very short animation. So you could time it with 100 strikes so that it doesn't lock you in place. So I'll do it here. So you want to use 100 strikes in the first part of your Rye Blade Flash. Like that, see? I'm still able to move, even though I was in the middle of 100 strikes. It's a bit hard to see, and it's a bit hard to master, but it's very, very, very important to do. A lot of people, what they do is, since 100 strikes can cancel the Zonko animation, they'll use Zonko, then 100 strikes, then instant slice to cancel the 100 strikes. But I don't like doing that, because Zonko and HHS, they have two different cooldowns, 90 second and 120 second. So, are you really gonna wait an extra 30 seconds on your Zonko to use it with 100 strikes? Generally, I wouldn't recommend that. If you're in a really tough boss, maybe because Zonko has five second iframe, and 100 strikes, you can't really see what's going on when you're using it. The map goes dark and the animation is all over your screen. So like, it's a lot safer to do it that way. But for like very high level gameplay, I would recommend just canceling 100 strikes with your Rye Blade Flash. It's a lot smoother. It takes way less time. And you could use 100 strikes as its own like separate skill instead of being something you have to pair with Zonko. Is that everything for all of the... Oh no, there's actually one more thing. So, Hitakiri Strike, Diagonal. Okay, so let me, let me explain something. So when you jump in the air and cancel and dash, you can't dash again. Like I'm, I'm pressing dash again, you can't dash again. You can only dash in the air once, unless you Hitakiri Strike Angle. Hitakiri Strike Angle actually resets how many dashes you could have in the air. What do I mean by that? So normally, you know, I just dash once, I'm done. So I could actually, okay, another thing that resets the dash is Vapor Blade. So I could dash, Vapor Blade, dash again. Because Vapor Blade gave me another dash midair. Dash, Vapor Blade, dash. So I'm dashing, I'm Shinsokuing. So I dash, dash, Shinsoku, Vapor, dash. Dash, Shinsoku, Vapor, dash. Dash, Shinsoku, Shin so I'm doing two Shinsokus actually. So I'm dashing, Shinsoku, Vapor again, Shinsoku to cancel the Vapor and dashing again. All right, so you could do it a third time with um, Hitagiri your Strike Angle. So I could dash, Vapor, dash, Hitagiri Strike, dash again. That was a bad example, but I'll do it again. Dash, Vapor, it, it, it's tight timing, but yeah. Dash. <laughs> I keep hitting something. Dash and Soku. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Dash and Soku. Oh my god. Dash and Soku. 
Oh my god. Dash Shinsoku, dash, heat degree strike angle, dash. Okay, and Falcon dive at the end. Yeah, so like that's the maximum amount of times you could dash midair. But yeah, it, it, it's tough. It takes a lot of practice, but these little things, like you might think like, oh, this is such a like weird use case. They, they help, like it actually helps. Like in Dark Nell, that triple dash actually saves me so, so much. Like so much it saves me. So I believe that's everything when it comes to animation canceling, what skills animation cancel, other skills, what movement skills can be chained with others, and what are the most important ones. So the next part of the video is how to do damage properly on Hayato. This is like very, very important because I've seen so many BA videos on Hayato. I've seen so many Hayato's boss and almost everybody has their own like way to do things, which isn't inherently wrong but it's just not quite fully optimized to get all your damage out there. So what? A, so one of the most common things I see people do is they'll use Sakuno and Sengoku not at the same time, which is like one of the most annoying things to see because if you look at the cooldowns and if you look at how much, how much their duration is, they line up very, very, very well. So their duration for these two skills, 45 seconds, 45 seconds. Cooldown is 240 seconds. Cooldown is 120 seconds. So what that means is every other Sengoku force is your big, big burst. Because you'll have Sen Sakuno's Blessing, which is your big burst buff. So generally, when you're bossing on Hayato... You want to get to your five stacks as quickly as possible. So I'm going to just use Zanko here to get energy quickly. And Shinsoku because remember every hit will give you two. And I'm going to get to five stacks. Right. So I'm at five stacks right now. And what you want to do, you want to buff up. Like when you're about to enter boss, you buff up. Use all your buffs. Blah, blah, blah. Maple Warrior. And what you want to do is Sakuno's Blessing. Sengoku Force. So you always want to use these skills together because so Sengoku Force is a ton of your damage. Like on an actual BA, it's like over 20% of all your damage. So you want to get the entire duration with Sakuno's Blessing, which is a, a ton of your a ton of your actual damage. So that's just one aspect to Hayato's overall DPS. So another thing for your DPS is you want to use Falcon's Honor and Instant Slice pretty much off cooldown because it's overall a net damage increase than just straight up using Ryblade Flash. So you want to always use your Falcons and your Instant Slice. And since you're using Falcon and Instant Slice a lot, you're going to be getting a lot of energy and you shouldn't have any trouble um, maintaining your uh, Phantom Blades as long as you're attacking and using your Falcon's Honor. Now, what that that's another aspect to Hayato's overall DPS. So another thing um, you want to use is your Batsujutsu Ultimate Will and Batsujutsu Zanko. So right now I'm low on energy, right? Boom, Zanko. I'm like at full energy again. Cancel it with Instant Slice, so I'm not stuck in animation. So. If you know, if you remember, these two skills, they're the two skills that give you a ton of energy. So you don't want to use them at the same time. Because you're just going to go over the 1000 threshold. So since Zanko's on cooldown, that's a pretty good time to pop God of Blades. Because as I'm, as Zanko's like, you know, on cooldown, I'm going to be using Phantom Blade and I'm going to be attacking. And this is going to be slowly like giving me it this is going to be slowly gathering energy and giving it to me and the most important thing is you want to watch when it's about to expire and you want to be less than 200 energy before it expires because it gives you 800 if you're above 200 and it gives you 800 you're wasting energy so yeah it goes away boom plus 800 and if i were to use zanko now i would just go over the 1000 and i would waste so much energy from zanko and why is wasting energy bad because you're wasting Phantom Blades, essentially. Phantom Blade itself does quite a bit of damage. So you want to actually 
optimize how many times you can use phantom blade based off your energy so like i see zonko's coming up right and i want to use it i want to go to less than 300 because i know zonko is going to give me over 700 it's going to give me 700 so if i was like at 500 right now and i press zonko i'm wasting phantom blades because i would go over the 1000 threshold so you basically what, I, what I'm saying on Hayato is you never want to be, you never want to be at a thousand, and whenever you're using these two skills, you never want to be at at more than what uh, you never want to have it so that they give you more than what the threshold is. So yeah, so th those are another two things for Hayato. So whether you want to use it defensively or offensively. Um, if you're using it offensively, I would recommend using it when you're at the peak of your Sakuno's Blessing. Because you'll have the most amount of final damage. Now, the next thing. Hitokiri 100 Strike. This skill, so many people have trouble with it. I, I went over how to cancel it with your Rai Blade Flash. Like that. If you notice, the screen basically becomes like completely black. The animation's there. And... You can't see anything. So this is a skill where it does a ton of damage, but you have to be careful. This is where your game knowledge comes in, because a lot of the, a lot of a lot about Maple Story is the game knowledge. You gotta know when you can do things, what the boss is gonna do, and stuff like that. So this is this is a skill that truly tests your game knowledge, because a ton of people always say like, oh, like I don't want to use Hunter Strike because it's like I'm just gonna die, or like I have to use it with Zonko because like Zonko gives me an iframe and I could use it with it and I'll be safe, but you're kind of forcing yourself, to, it, but if that's the case, you're forcing yourself to put Zonko on a 2 minute cooldown, so it works with this instead of a 90 minute cooldown, so you're overall using less Zonkos throughout the fight, which is not good, it's not optimized damage, and um, yeah, so you want to, you want to be careful with this, but eventually you'll get to a point where you, you know you can use it, like, it's fine, like, you know what's going to happen, you you have the perfect opportunity, and you want to use it when you're at your peak Sakuno, ideally, for maximum damage. And since it has a 2 minute cooldown, this is a 4 minute cooldown, you could get 2 of these off, every other one is going to be with Sakuno. So you're going to have 1 with Sakuno, 1 without, 1 with Sakuno, 1 without, same with Sengoku Force. See how the, all these cooldowns line up very nicely? Same with this, this is a 2 minute cooldown as well, all the cooldowns line up very very nicely. Um. Phantom Blade, the Phantom Blade, so with Phantom Blade comes a lot of things, so the most common rookie mistake I would say on Phantom Blade is people love to burn their energy as quickly as possible, they love to spam their Phantom Blades, which is something I, I admit I, I used to do all the time too, but then they run into issues because if you keep spamming Phantom Blade, and you and these aren't up or anything and you and it's about to expire then what like you, you're just gonna your fan your stacks are gonna drop because you don't have any energy so phantom blade has it has the buff on it is a long time it lasts for uh 33 seconds i think yeah 33 seconds and that's a lot of time you could get remember falcon's honor gives you 100 and it lasts, and it's a eight second cooldown so you could cast falcon's honor like four times before Phantom Blade expires, like you don't have to use Phantom Blade when you're at 200 energy. Like you don't have to use it if you're able to use it. You don't like you want to think of it like tea or like coffee. You want to take sips of your Phantom Blade. You don't want to burn your energy as as um, as quickly as possible. It's not good. Like you're just gonna be putting yourself in situations where you're gonna lose your stacks, and then it's gonna take forever to use get your stacks back up again because you're gonna be forced to use Zonko to get your energy back and since you're using it without stacks it's gonna do no damage so it's just inefficient so take sips of your energy now that doesn't mean be super lenient be super like strict with it and not use it at all like because if if you're like at 800 energy and you use zonko like you're gonna go over the threshold which isn't good so you want to the only times you really want to burn your Phantom Blade is if you know this is about to pop and give you a ton of energy, or you're about to use Zonko and you're about to get a ton of energy. Every other scenario, you want to be um, conservative with your Phantom Blade. A lot of people are very liberal with their Phantom Blades, myself included. 
But yeah, it's something you definitely want to work on. Um, so next I'll show you guys a proper like damage rotation on um, on Hayato. So like if you want to pop a BA, right? What I like to do on BA is I like to start at um, 1000 energy and five stacks, but I'm not gonna do that because it's gonna take too long. But I'll just show you like, I'll show you a more realistic BA, like when you're entering a boss, a more realistic scenario of when you're entering a boss. So you're about to enter a boss, right? Pop your familiars, whatever, pop your buffs. So this is, this is what you wanna do. As soon as you enter the boss, you want to before outside you want to use all your descent as soon as you enter you want to pop princess vow god of blades uh arachnid reflection princess sakuma's blessing sengoku force get to five stacks you want to get to five stacks right away imagine i just entered like dark nail or something and i'm just hitting boss you want to falcon insta slice until you're at 150 when you're at 150 you want to summon batujutsu god of blades and you want to keep attacking and Falcon instant slice off cooldown. You want to keep going, keep going. Falcon instant slice. Use Phantom Blade. And you'll see that this is about to pop. So I'm about to get a ton of energy. So I want to use all my Phantom Blades right away. Use 100 strikes. Ideally, Zonko would have been up, but I used it earlier, and I would have Zonkoed before the 100 strikes. Now, the keen of you may have noticed that I've been using Phantom Blade in the middle of my other skills. How am I able to do that? How am I, how, how, are, how are you able to use Phantom Blade in the middle of, the middle of your other skills? Like, if you guys notice, like, I press Phantom, I press Falcon's Honor, I press Q. It doesn't use Phantom Blade, it uses it after. Now, this is... Very, very important on Hayato. You want to put Phantom Blade in an in-game macro. And then use it on a separate key. You want to have the regular one and the macro one. The macro one, you could use Phantom Blade in any situation. Like, no matter what, it will cast. No matter what skill you're using, Phantom Blade will cast if you use the macro one. So Falcon's Honor, Phantom Blade. Boom. So why is that useful? Well... You could you could use Phantom Blade quicker, and you could use it in in situations where you couldn't have normally used it before. Like in the middle of Zanko, this animation is super long. Generally, you're not you're not allowed to do anything else in the middle of the animation. But if you use Phantom Blade in a macro, you can use Phantom Blade in the middle of Zanko, which is huge. And um, uh, yeah, what else? Yeah, so another thing with Phantom Blade that I see a lot of people struggle with is they don't weave their Phantom Blades properly in their uh, DPS or their, bur or their burst or whatever. They're not weaving it properly. What do I mean by weave properly? I mean, you're using it in a way that it's not affecting your Rye Blade Flash uh, skill. So if I were to hold down Rye Blade Flash, right? I'm just holding it down. And I press Phantom Blade, it stops me from using Rye Blade Flash. So whenever you whenever you're Phantom Blading in the middle of your Rye Blade Flash, you wanna let go of Rye Blade Flash right before you press Phantom Blade just for a second. So I'm gonna let go of it as soon as I press Phantom Blade, and then I'm gonna press it again. So if you notice like that, it's much smoother. Like I'm not really losing any time on my uh, Rye Blade Flash. Like my Rye Blade flashes are just consistent like this because I'm not wasting any, I'm not wasting any of my, uh, I'm weaving properly is what I'm trying to say. So the reason um, we use the actual Phantom Blade skill and not the macro for this is because the macro, you don't, you can't, um, you can't weave Phantom Blade with sh with the macro when you're using Shinsoku. Like if you're using Shinsoku and you're trying to use Phantom Blade, the macro doesn't work with Shinsoku. Like I'm trying to press it right now. Phantom Blade won't come out. It only works with the regular Phantom Blade skill, like the Q one for me. So that's why you want to use both of them. You want to have both of them on a skill. All right, so 
that's pretty much everything on how to play Hayato. I showed you guys what each skill does, what skills you can chain with others, and what are the most important combos for Hayato, and how to properly like output your damage, and why stacking is important, and um, you know how to animation cancel your actual skills that have long animations that do damage. I showed you guys how to properly do BA, um, yeah, so if I missed anything or if you have any questions, let me know. You could join the Hayato Discord. I'm always active there and other people are active there too and they're more knowledgeable than me. So, well, <laughs> some of them are. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so if you have any questions, let me know. I tried to go over as much as possible. I know this video is super long, but there's just so much to go over. And um, I know it sounds kind of cringe, but the most important thing for Hayato is to go out there and actually learn it yourself. Actually go and do bosses, go and stay in town, and spam your movement skills, see what you're able to do, find the rhythm and master it. That's the most important thing is to actually do it. Like I've been playing this class for years. I've been playing it since reboot release and there's things that I'm still learning to this day. So there's always room for improvement, no matter who you are. And, you know, people are going to have different opinions, but the things I covered in this video generally are core Hayato gameplay mechanics and you want to master everything in here. I know I like sometimes <laughs> I ramble on and like stuff like that and I can't really like articulate things properly, but hopefully I, you guys learned at least something from this and yeah if i forgot anything then definitely let me know but yeah hopefully you guys will become hayato pros after this and definitely join the discord all right peace